I'm not going to say too much, but I'm just here to, to introduce my beautiful cousins here. And I just want to say that Marge has always stepped into this space for us. My own. And even though they, they are people like myself, uh, our chairperson as well, uh, we are fully supportive of our Mare Kura, my cousin uh, Marge, and also my other beautiful cousin Margaret Rose. So, good evening, Kahuri Te Waiki Arawaka. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight into this. Our Tai Fino have been really, really good. And all that, like, even all the other Tai Fino ones. And, um, you know, we're looking at, like, accreditation staff. We're engaging with heaps of people. My office used to be really, really quiet. And now it's, oh, I don't know, it feels like the whole of Tai Fino is living with me now. But that's, that's cool. That's cool. So, um... I'm sorry. So, where I was going to start is back in 1970. Oh, got a few questions. Back in to, um, the white. Yes. So, here's how I'm going to start back in 2020. And our, we, we started with the, our, Harry Carroll. He decided that, you know, he didn't want to stay with us anymore. So we bid him farewell, and then Uncle Pretty Shasha, he sort of like followed. Well, why are they doing all that? And hopefully there was, most probably be watching us all over last year, was all the talks around about, around this COVID stuff. So back in, you know, October 19, we knew all these things. So one of the things that I'll try to do was we were thinking, we were thinking about what we were going to do, and we got to introduce to all these different things. So I've just put a few up there, you know, like paper and pens, sanitizers, some of the distancing, not that some of the whanau distance. And then we were locked down on the 26th of March. So while all this was happening, I was thinking, we built this hub. So this is our TA Company COVID hub, with all our, our champions and our office staff, and so when the 26th of March hit, we were ready to go. So, yeah. So I just put a little bit of pictures up there to turn around and so, you know, like all the other Taifinoas, organising all the food and all that, getting it out to our whanau. And I just want to acknowledge um, Mahanarangi. She, during the COVID, she did a for us. And so it adorns our office. So, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> so as, as the things were going along, you know, you get to level three, you go down to level two, and you go down to back into thing. And for us it was, hey, it was what was the norm? Because everybody didn't really know, well, it was hard to get back into the norm and all of that. And then people were still coming to the office thinking that we were still up and operational. So this is where we thought, well, our hub needs to still things, so we've channeled around this TH Tamatia, which is our social hub that's going to come under our umbrella. So that's us. And so what we did was, because it wasn't the norm, we decided, well, we'll do some stuff. So we decided, oh, well, we'll upgrade our office. So we've got a and then I was thinking we've got more lights and some fans stuck in the kitchen. Got a place where you can come in and sit to have a have a bit of a yak. I was thinking then we've got hot spot desks and then we've got a little bit of meet, meeting. I don't have my um, reception area, that's still coming, so 
he has an office that's really, really spread out, eh? Hey? So that's all. So um, we decided, you know, like everybody else, maybe we'll have a celebration. So we called in our co martyrs and that and celebrated. Some didn't want to come, some, but that's fine. And all that. So we just all got together and had a little bit of a and all that. So yes, we're there to sit up. <laughs> so these are some of our projects that I just want to talk about. So we've got this now to keep on it. So Pukekai Ho, the power is just up at the back of my office, or beside my office. So we're looking at bringing all our stories, bringing all our stories back. So it's going to look like something like this. And, um, oh, it's really exciting. And I was thinking, we, so all the stuff is now is... It's all coming to life now, so um, it's really cool. It's <laughs> just, just, just a support by cousins. So part of that in terms of the RIT Puma was, was about the ability to talk about all of our past sites within our rohe. And so we, we've come to the Modi up on uh, Pukaiho, which is that uh, path to drive into White Puro. It's the highest point. And, um, we're starting to think that right, the best instincts now. So it's about educating our people and our world who come up here. And just coming back to, to Marge, she plays a really important part. And I know she's a bit nervous, but she is the Kamuhi, she is the communicator for of our people. And that's why, you know, she's here. So these are some more, yes, yeah, so as I said, these are all coming to lives. We're going to have to do it for all that that goes on, so it's uh, exciting for us down there and, and come here. And then we have play a part in the Patuma management, so that's our Lake Patuma. And the real history type thing here is because the lake owners. So we called a meeting, got them in and said to them, no, we're not going to protest and take your land. Even though I think some of them sort of like thought that. We want to be partners with you, so cool. <laughs> And all that, so. And then I was thinking, and then they have one and they're around that, and we go out to to the lake and have a look at them. So we've got Brian Morris once again up there, so yeah, it's all cool. Then you had a water symposium there, so we had um, Garth Harmsworth into that, and Auntie Atalita Pawai, they came and did some things, so it's really good. We were engaging him with. As everybody else is, might allude to, Rake order the Marae rebuilds. So this is our, our team of 10 plus the other one. So yeah, they're doing great work. Um, just the next couple of slides just tells you which Marae that we're, we're looking, we've been going to. So you know, Te Bairu, Tafu Tatahi, Tafu and then we go out to the coast and then back into to Matawika. So, I haven't really seen the pictures, but yeah, I'm going to get there. It's going to be awesome. What have I done? Oh, then St. Mary's. Oh, this is we decided we should be part of the COVID thing. So, we um, turn around and, oh, we've got like a couple of days notice, but that was okay. Me and Nanny Mark, me and Nanny Mark, we there well. We sort of like just left our works and decided we'll think there. So they we come down, had a cut, we had a cut up here. So, so this was pictures of the first, um, back on the 21st of April. And that's so um, nannies and cousins getting their injections. So. Just quickly, just, 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 just want to say this is the power of uh, Tihei Road Order. And um, we got the report back that we had 100 vaccines left over. We pushed the button for Tihei Maumora and we ended up vaccinating 331. Mm -hmm. So here was the last one. So we've taken photos of the teams that, both the teams that come down. And our name up there up the top there getting her number one and her <laughs> second thing. So she's just about real ready to go. And yeah. And then we just did our, these are our weaving with our nanny classes. They do it at home too. Our Matariki celebration is going to be a week long one. I was thinking this, this is just about 
they doing licensing for our children out at the two colleges down there. So yeah, and it's really really good. So they engage like. 450 people per year to get their next thing. Oh, that's me!